Alright, welcome to another episode of Jack Sucks at Geography. Today we're playing GeoGuessr. But I've actually made this map myself. I've just drawn a few polygon regions around the area where I grew up. So it should create the opportunity for some mildly interesting anecdotes. So it is called Where I Grew Up. No one has yet played it. Let's click play. It's going to be quite difficult to get a perfect score just because of how small the regions are. So you have to be very, very specific. Right, already off the bat, I know exactly where we are. We are outside the Manor House Hotel. <gasps> this is actually really exciting. You know, this picture of me in the swimming pool, you know, this iconic picture. It's my current Twitter profile picture. It got like 20,000 upvotes on some random Reddit post. That picture was taken down there in the swimming pool that's around the back end of the Manor House Spa Hotel, West Auckland. <laughs> Yeah, this is just like, it's a surprisingly fancy building in a very unfancy area, as you can see by the rest of the buildings. But because it's like the only posh place where we live, we've done quite a few things there. So my mum celebrated her 40th birthday in there. For my birthday, she got me and Becky like a spa day, which is why I was in the swimming pool. But yeah, I recognise this area really well. When I was younger, and I used to go on bike rides. We'd always bike to West Auckland and we'd bike along here. The shop along here used to get a few sweets every now and then. There it is. Look at that. Go on. What's she got? A couple of scratch cards. I imagine go on last <laughs> And then this looks like a statue of someone getting their head kicked in. But it's actually a statue of someone playing football because I believe that the first World Cup was held in this small village for some reason. I don't quite know why. Oh, there's a class bench around this corner, actually. Let me take you to this bench. Get around here. Wait for it. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. You're going to love this. You are going to love this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Look at that bench. So, yeah, from the bike rides, we bike from a house all the way to West Auckland. And we come out of this bit. I'd go grab some Vimpto from the spa. And then me and my friend Liam, we'd sit on this bench and we just soak in the vibes you know as you can see there was a lot going on <laughs> let's return at the start and we'll try and get a perfect score now remember because of how small the regions are it's really really hard to get a perfect score even if you're just a couple of meters away all right west auckland and there's the manor house we're literally right on the junction i'm gonna zoom as far as i can in are we in the middle of it not quite and every pixel counts today so i'm gonna just move over and guess five thousand points thank god all right let's play the next round and see where where we end up. I might not immediately recognize every single location because I've just created big polygons rather than picked specific roads. So we could end up in some random housing estate, which is very near to somewhere that I used to go a lot, but I wouldn't immediately know where it was. But I recognize this area very well because this is the village that I was from. And this road makes me think of when I passed my driving test because when I first passed, me and Becky got in my mom's Citroen C1 and we drove down this road because this leads to the closest 60 road from my parents' house. So it was my first time going at the speed limit without a driving instructor next to me. So this road represents my freedom as a young adult in many ways. And it's a nice spot, isn't it? There's lots of nice fields because it is just somewhere kind of in the English countryside. And this road also makes me think of my mum coming home from Sainsbury's <laughs> because she'd always come this way back from Sainsbury's. My mum didn't like to go back on herself. She always liked to do a loop track. So when going to Sainsbury's, she'd head, you know, down this way and then over a road over there. And then Sainsbury's is like down there. Coming back from Sainsbury's, she'd go do -do -do -do, and then she'd come down this road and she'd come back down this way past even would get just to mix things up a bit keep things interesting let's return to start we shall head up here is there anyone watching from evenwood if you are please do leave a comment i would very much appreciate that i know there'll be a few people watching from bishop auckland so you might recognize some of these places but if there's anyone watching from evenwood in particular that's bloody barry i'm sure i've seen barry in a geoguessr video before barry gets everywhere this store didn't like it very much there'd be a really loud beeping noise when you opened the door so i'd generally avoid that store because of that reason and then this pub here which i think might have closed down by now this is the pub that my dad took me to for one of his friend's birthdays and I didn't really want to be there. But I'd eaten a hot chocolate fudge cake earlier in the night and I had a migraine. So I ended up projectile vomiting in the toilets of the Traveller's Rest. When I say projectile vomiting, I mean projectile vomiting. I didn't know that much vomit could come out of a human being. This memory might be skewed, but I feel like I filled the entirety of the floor with, with just sick. Anyway, let's, um, <laughs> let's see if we can get 5,000 points. So we need to be specific here. Let's base it off this big factory. I don't quite know what this is. Some kind of factory, but we're near the junction. So we need to zoom in. Where are we? What's going on? Hello? Bishop Auckland. And then we need to go to even more gates. So we're along this road. I don't think I'm going to get 5,000 points here because I'm struggling to find a sign. Fablink Tank Systems. Is that what this is? And maybe the company's been renamed or sold and replaced? Oh, hang on. We're near a bus stop. That should be helpful. Are we all the way up here? Actually, yeah, I think we are. I'm assuming this road here is this little road here. And then we've got Fairfield Road there. So let's just go up a little bit just to confirm that this is Fairfield. Let's have a look. Oh, the sign's just blurred. That's fantastic news, that. It is Fairfield. Yeah, I guess we are there then. So return to start. We're actually 
quite far down. It's quite tricky that. Don't shout at me when this isn't exactly 5,000 points because there's not really much to go on here. That road there is that road there which is quite far away and then I don't really have anything else to go on because for some reason this road here doesn't show up on the map. So that distance is quite big compared to that distance. So in that case I might go a little bit closer like that. Okay, we'll be close to 5,000 but I don't think we'll be on exactly 5,000. We absolutely smashed it. We were one meter away. I can't brag too much because it's quite an easy map that we're playing today. Oh, this one, I kind of recognize. I know where we are. It might take a bit of working out, but I think I should be able to get to it. This one, the first time my mom got in the new car, the Tesla, this is where I took her because this is a really nice, quiet, speedy road. And she wasn't a big fan, if I'm honest. I mean, she thought the car was amazing, but she was a bit nervous of it being quite quick, which is completely fair enough. I think we might be here, but I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe this one. But I think we're there. Yeah, I think we are there. So there's a house here and then there's like two smaller houses. Yeah, we are here. Okay, those are the two smaller structures. A nice house. I like the lawn over there and I like that big pink bush thing. If you're watching, nice lawn. Congratulations on that one. We very rarely biked up this road because of the hill. Not a big fan of the hill, but there was another route up here that we'd bike to a fair amount. Yeah, we'd come from down this way because then you get to avoid going up any hills and you just go all the way down. I'm having an absolute whale of a time. Oh, the three tons is for sale. That's a shame that because I know my mum and dad liked to have a nice meal there a couple of years ago. So we're a little bit down from the junction, probably around... Actually, I'm guessing that this little box here is going to be that that box there. As if that shows up on the map, you've got to respect that. Oh, that should be good. Nice. Good clap for me as well. Let's play the next round. Round four or five. I mean, now we're under pressure to get an exact perfect score, which is a bit stressful. I don't know where we are now. We should be able to get to somewhere I recognize, but off the bat, I don't recognize this road. What's this say? That says Evenwood. Oh no, where are we here? All the houses have a very familiar feel to them. Evenwood Primary School. Right, okay. Ah, oh, okay. I know where we are. That church is the church that I was christened in. <laughs> this farm owned by a friend of mine from school. This car garage, my dad reckons they'd fix the bump on my old Citroen for a reasonable price. <laughs> Hey, hold on a second. Is that the Traveller's Inn where I project our vomited all over the floor? Certainly is. <laughs> so we're down this road, which I never really went down this way because it leads to Cockfield and who wants to go there? Not me. Look, if you thought that Evenwood was rough, you should see Cockfield. So if we return to start, we're quite far down. Okay, we'll find the road at least and we'll see if we can work something out. So it's this road here. So there's the primary school. How far are we from these two bus stops? A long way, actually. Yeah, we're ages away from the bus bus stops. I haven't even found the bus stops yet. There's the bus stops. We are way further down, probably around there. Oh, that's a tough road to get a perfect score on. So I think this bend is the only thing we can really go on. Are we at the bend yet? No, it doesn't look like it. The bend looks like it must be. Is this the bend? I can't tell if this is the bend or if that's the bend up there. Is there another bend? No, I think that is the bend. Oh! Ooh, quite a nice little hidden away bench there, but that doesn't get many bums on the seats. That's not Barry, is it? I think it bloody might be. These houses must be this. Where's that pond? I want to see the pond. I need some confirmation. Can I not see it because of all these trees? Hang on, we might be able to see it from this. Nah, they are hiding a pond in there. Right, so we are currently here. We can maybe get 5,000 points. So there is a bend in the road, which is this bend here. I'm guessing that this is the bend right now. And then that bend there must be this bend here. Here. God, I'm confused. <laughs> I might just have to go there and hope for the best, to be honest. I don't think it's going to be exactly 5,000, but we'll see how it goes. <sighs> 26 meters away. We got 4,800 points. I'm disappointed in myself with that one. I won't lie to you. Right, let's play the final round. I should be able to recognize this place because I'd walk the dog with me, mommy. When I came home to visit, this is the route we would normally do. So there's a bump on the road. It kind of goes up there. So at night time, when you're driving on this and you've got your lights on, every single time you absolutely blaze the poor living room of whoever lives in this bungalow with your lights. They shine at full force directly into it and it must be incredibly annoying. Oh, look at this. This is the news agents that when I was a paper boy for my first job when I was 14, I think. I only did it for about three months before I dropped out. But this would be where I'd collect the papers. I got nine pounds and it took me about four or five hours to do that bloody paper round. Nine quid. Extortionate. That's child labour, that is. Anyway, let's return to the start and see if we could get somewhere close to it. Yeah, we should be able to manage this one. I can't quite work it out, but I'm sure we will be able to. So we're like over here somewhere, I think. It doesn't look like it's very helpful with the road. I think we're about there. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's bloody Barry. What was he doing that day? He's just wandering about all over the joint. That road there is Copeland Lane. So we can go backwards down that way. So we'll head down at the bottom of South View. Scrap My Car is on the map. Let's have a look for Scrap My Car. Are they still in business? I don't see Scrap My Car, to be honest. We should be here now. That should be Alpine Terrace that curves around there. But we need to continue around South View because I think we spawned in here. Is this where we spawned in? I think so. Nice garden, that one, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, and then this garage must be that. So let's just return to our exact start position. So we are right next to the garage, like really close to it. We should be there. I think that should be a 5,000 pointer for our final round. It is. Nice. View summary, 24,813 points. I'm sad that we didn't get a perfect score. We got done in over here, which is a real shame, but what can you do? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was nice to look at all these little places that I grew up in and had lots of nice times in. If you live anywhere nearby, leave a comment. Don't, you know, leave your postcode or anything though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Geogasa content. We do upload them twice a week, and I will see you later. If you're watching, nice lawn. Congratulations on that one.